it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is the 16th of February. So not only is it my uh, Cut of the Month design team project for Cut to You, it is also Follow a Sketch February, put on by Sandy, who's State Goddess, and you can find this sketch in the Scrapping Reflections group. So the sketch today was made by Sharni Haynes and it is super fun. Uh, it has some mixed media in the background. It calls for two photos. I'm just going to use one. Um, I'm using my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit for this month. And I went ahead and cut my cut file out of that striped rainbow paper that you see and I made sure that I cut it out of the middle so that I can use the outside of it as a mat for my layout. So today's, today's, this month's uh, cut of the month cut file is called Heart Filled Hearts. So you can see it there and I keep kind of moving it on and off of the layout so that I can kind of see where my stamping needs to go. It looks like there's a lot of stamping in the background. And so I have this little Heidi Swap stamp that has a bunch of um, like text on it. I don't know what it says, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of that down. I am just going to use the one photo, but I think it's going to work out just fine. I am going to add a little extra mixed media. It looks like maybe there's only some splatters in the sketch, but I am actually going to take my shimmers in going peach side, which is just about gone, uh, but still holding on there. So I don't actually get it all used up this time. So I'm just going to do a little bit with uh, the packaging technique as well as my paintbrush. And then I do some splatters as well. And I'm just going to clean up my paintbrush like terribly. <laughs> so you can kind of see how the cut file is going to fit on the layout. Now, the packaging tech it, technique is dried, but my splatters are not, which is fine. I'll just kind of work around them. And honestly, if I smush them, no big deal. They just became the packaging technique too. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And then, and then I can start with the embellishing. So I am using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. I'm not putting it all over the cut file. I'm just kind of putting it uh, in different little spots. So some of it does kind of pop off the page a little bit because it's not glued down. But I want to use a wet adhesive because I am putting it on a mixed media background. Now in the sketch, there is a couple of items that are in the middle. Um, they look like they could be some branding strips. There's also some stitching. And then I'm guessing they're like half circles punched from pattern paper. But since I'm using my kit and I have these strips, so they are actually from the cut apart sheet. They are not from the, uh, they're not branding strips. Uh, and because I have a strip of rainbows and a strip of suns, I figure that kind of gives that same feeling of, of those punched circles. So those are going to be the pieces that are going to go down the middle. And for some reason, I struggle very hard with deciding where they're going to go. I don't even understand because it's it's pretty obvious like, <laughs> like where they go, but I did struggle with it. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. And then I'm going to realize that I want some of this crepe paper, this white crepe paper here, um, underneath it. So there is my photo and you can see, okay, well now it's too far over being in the middle. I need to move it over. 
So that is movement number one. And I was like, okay, that that kind of seems seems right. So now I'm going to put my crepe paper down and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take it off again and I'm just going to add some uh, tape runner. Here it comes off. I'm just going to add some tape runner in a couple of spots and I'm just going to squish it down like there's no there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just going to stick it down. So now it's time to put this these borders on again and they don't want to stick so I'm going to glue them down and then I'm going to peel them up again because I think that they end up crooked something happened <laughs> I have to pull them up again um, so I just I just struggled with that center stripe you would think that that would be like one of the easiest bits that you could do right like it would just fit there so here I'm realizing how like crooked it is and I don't always care about the amount of crookedness, but this one was like in my face, like yelling at me. So that being said, I had to move it again. I did get my T-square ruler out to kind of make sure that it was pretty good. And I'm gonna add more glue to make this stick. And then I can finally start with some embellishing. Oh no, I forgot. So uh, there is some stitching in the sketch and I haven't fixed my sewing machine yet. <laughs> I just haven't taken the time. It's, you know, we're halfway into uh, 30, day, 30 days, follow a sketch February and uh, then we got, we got more next month. So I just, I just haven't had time to fix it. So hopefully before too long, I can actually get it fixed, but we'll see. So I have this Bow Bunny stamp that has some stitches on it. So I went ahead and just inked that with some stays on ink and put that on top of those borders. You don't see it too much at the top. Uh, you see it at the bottom and it didn't stamp well. Like it definitely... It definitely really probably just needed to be actual stitching, but this is, this is what I got going on. So I'm going to go ahead and map my photo and I'm going to do a, a torn piece at the bottom. And then I am going to start working on some embellishing. So my plan is to create three embellishment clusters and I am taking the insides of the cut file. I'm going to do um, tone on tone. So I added the pink heart up to the top and everything that's going to go up in that cluster is going to be pink. And then about halfway down the photo on the right side, I added the yellow to green heart and I'm just going to keep yellow there. And then I'm going to do a embellishment cluster on the bottom of just the blue. So I got to use the insides and the um, cut file and these hearts are perfect. So they will be showing up the rest of the month in my uh, layouts as, as needed because they're perfect extra embellishments. So uh, in the top, I've added a chipboard piece that says simply the best as well as a chipboard piece that says love. A sticker that says all the good stuff. I'm adding a sticker here that says rest and relax because that is what I'm doing in the picture. So every morning I would go out on our balcony, look at the ocean and the golf course, drink my tea, watch some YouTube. So uh, I, I figured that was, that was a perfect one. And then in the yellow area I've only added a chipboard heart which is actually gold which I feel like that works out pretty good on the bottom I've added a couple stickers one says vacation mode one says my favorite the little tiny word sticker says this is the good life and then I'm just going to finish it off with these happy days puffy hearts and I am going to scatter them around in color coordination 
And that is going to do it for my layout. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope this inspires you to head over to the Cut to You shop and sign up for the Cut of the Month Club. It's like so exciting to uh, get a new cut file in your email box uh, once a month. And as you can see, they're amazing. Plus you could get your hands on a few other things and then all the follow a sketch February information will be down below as well. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.